आचार्य जी प्रणाम वेन आस्ड अबाउट माया महर्षि सेड माया इज यूज टू सिग्निफाई द मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ रियालिटी दस माया इज द ओनली रियालिटी आचार्य जी प्लीज हेल्प मी गेट क्लैरिटी ऑन हाउ वन शुड रियलाइज दैट द वर्ल्ड around us is a manifestation of reality and if maya is the only reality then why is there a negative connotation associated with it from where maharshi is looking there is really no difference between truth and the material mental manifestation of truth called maya he sees no difference which means that he sees truth in every bit and every aspect of maya therefore maharshi can talk of maya as just something very innocuous harmless just another thing when the maharishi talks of maya maya is no threat because the maharishi is talking of maya maya is this entire manifestation called the world the universe sansar maya is things people and our relationship with them maya is mind and matter but when maharshi looks at the mind maharshi penetrates the mind deep enough to go to the source of the mind so even when maharshi is looking at the mind he is actually seeing the source so the mind to maharshi is the source nothing else hence the maya to maharshi is just truth nothing else he is able to penetrate maya maya can do him no harm now but for you maya is distinct from the truth for you maya is an alternative against the truth therefore for you maya must necessarily have a negative connotation do you get the difference for maharshi the world is a sprouting of the source there is the truth and the truth is giving rise to the world when maharshi looks at the world all he sees is the truth he is not held captive by the senses he holds no expectation from the world he holds no desires or aversions so he is able to see right through the world when you see right through the world it is from the source that you are seeing and it is only the source that you see so to the maharshi the world means the truth the world is an expression of the truth for us the world is an alternative against the truth do you see the stark difference we have a choice when we want to turn away from the truth we find refuge in the world we start expecting that from the world which can be expected only from the truth we start taking the world as the truth get the difference straight to see the world as an expression of the truth is one thing to see the world as the truth is an entirely different thing 
I'll give you a loose analogy. Use it just as a pointer. When the Maharishi looks at a shadow, he smiles because the beloved is near. The shadow indicates the proximity of the beloved. Now the shadow is a beautiful thing as far as Maharishi is concerned. He is looking at the shadow of the beloved and he knows that it is the shadow of the beloved. So he smiles. The way we operate is very different. We look at the shadow of the beloved and start hugging and kissing the shadow. We think that the shadow is the beloved. We think that the shadow can be used as a comfortable and convenient alternative to the beloved. Oh, the beloved is so demanding, you know. But the shadow demands nothing. So why take the pains of going to the beloved? If the shadow is available, make do with the shadow. Do you get the difference? Do you see how the saints really have no problems with Maya or the world? They are very, very well adjusted. Only they are well adjusted. And the common man is a victim of Maya. Hmm? Is the difference clear? Liberation is to see That really there is no alternative to that which you are seeking liberation from. Therefore you really have to give up only one thing. The one who believes that he is in bondage and seeks liberation. This is called realizing Maya and knowing that Maya is an expression of truth.